Hi guys, so today I am here to discuss another section of paper 1 which is people and environment interaction. So this section basically talks about the pollutants, the pollution, the environment around us and this, this section is pretty tricky or pretty uh, up to date. So you should know the initiatives which has been taken by the government recently to excel in this section. So do subscribe to our channel for more beneficial videos and for further queries uh, message us on our telegram group. So starting with the 150 question series, so this section is in continuation with that series and the question that follows are from question 31 to question 35. So first question here says that which of these is not a renewable source of energy. So as we all know the renewable source of energy as the name suggests is that energy uh, which, is, which does not diminish over time uh, which is there permanently. So and non-renewable source of energy is that source of energy which if once used uh, is effectively gone because it takes much time much longer time to reform. So solar energy is a kind of renewable source of energy. Uh, wind energy is a kind of renewable source of energy and ocean tidal energy is also a renewable source of energy. So the only thing which is natural gas which is made up of the uh, fuels, fossil fuels. Uh, so this is the type of non-renewable source of energy. Then the next question which is, is uh, which of the following phenomena is not a natural hazard. So wildfire is basically an uncontrollable type of fire which uh, occurs in the combustible vegetation mostly in the rural areas, lightning, landslide is also a kind of natural hazard. Landslide uh, occurs because of the weathering or the erosion and the chemical contamination is basically, uh, the chemical contamination is that uh, the chemical is either it is present in the uh, area where it shouldn't be or uh, it is in uh, it is present in the high concentration than that have naturally occurred so over the natural limit when there is chemical so that is known as the chemical contamination so the answer here is option number 4 which is the chemical contamination question 33 is as part of the national climate change policy Indian government is planning to raise the installed capacity of renewable energy by the year 2032. So the answer here is option number 4, 350 gigawatts. So after this uh, target has been met, so the uh, total expected capacity of the renewable energy would be 850 gigawatts and 350 gigawatts uh, bifurcation is basically government have thought that 250 uh, gigawatts will be by the solar energy whereas 100 gigawatts will be by the wind energy. So the answer here is option number 4. So this kind of questions, these kind of questions are basically the recent uh, initiatives taken by the government. So you should know uh, this as a part of your curriculum for excelling in this paper and this section. Now question 34 is that which of the following is the largest source of water pollution in major rivers of India. So as you can see that all these sources uh, contribute in some way or the other for the water pollution to the water pollution. But uh, here it has been as the largest source. So the largest source is the untreated sewage because in the developing country like ours, uh, there is a problem of sanitary conditions. People generally wash their clothes uh, by the side of the river and there are laundry waste in the river. There is untreated sewage in the river. Sewage basically means the solid waste of the urine. So agriculture turn off the second option is basically the runoff of the water uh, which contain the fertilizers, pesticides, solid waste, animal waste and which uh, pollutes the drinking water. Unregulated small scale industries also discards their dumps, their waste into the river directly. Then we have religious practices. So uh, a lot of religious practices also causes some sort of water pollution. But the largest source of water pollution in India is the untreated sewage. Next question and the last question here is Indian government's target of producing power from the biomass by the year 2022 is so the answer here is 10 gigawatts because by the year 2022 Indian government have decided a target of 175 gigawatts 
out of which uh, 100 gigawatts they have decided for the uh, solar energy from the solar energy 60 gigawatts from the wind energy 10 gigawatts from the biomass which we are talking about in this question and 5 gigawatts from the small hydro power so the answer here is 10 gigawatts so as you can see that this section basically comprises of the question which relates to the environment and which relates to the pollutants the pollution and the uh, government's initiatives which has been taken in the recent past so you should be aware about these uh, things and for more practice questions do subscribe to our channel and for uh, message us on our telegram group for assistance thank you